Can ChatGPT write high converting headlines? Not with prompts, not without a lot of help, and not without these simple headline editing tricks that a human has to do. Oh God, not that, a human, yes, a human. But this can turn ChatGPT headlines into pure copy gold. I'm John Benson and this is Sales Copy Secrets. Welcome back, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a prompt right now that you can use, you can put this into ChatGPT, use ChatGPT Plus, which is GPT-4, or five or six or seven, whatever the latest is by the time you're watching this video, because you don't wanna go backwards, all right? And here's the prompt, ready? You are a professional direct response copywriter. Write me 20 compelling headlines for a sales page. The product is a virtual mastermind I hold every week called the AI Copy Collective. It's targeted toward marketers, copywriters, and entrepreneurs. It's high touch, high level, and comes with an entire list of products, including, and then I list off the 27 courses that Copy Collective comes with. It comes with my entire legacy library of courses. So I'm putting in everything, and this prompt is like massive. And then here's how I end the prompt. I said, avoid direct naming, and keep the headline intriguing and somewhat mysterious. And direct naming is where you name the product or you name the, the hook. You don't want to do that necessarily. You want to keep it a little mysterious, which is what I like to do for a headline, and be more specific in the subheadline. So let's see how chat did. But believe you me, before I reveal this, it ain't pretty. <laughs> it's not pretty. For example, notice how many times it mentions the hook, which is AI, or the author, me. Okay, well, the last thing you want to say, or the course itself, AI Copy Collective. Now, here are the 20 that it wrote. Discover the secrets of high converting sales copy in just weeks. Ugh. Seven powerful techniques to write sales producing copy with AI. The ultimate guide to writing profitable sales copy with AI. Ugh. <laughs> Why most copywriters struggle, but you can succeed with John Benson's AI Copy Collective. That's probably the worst one of the lot. I died a little bit inside just now when I read that. Unlock the power of AI, master copywriting, and boost your marketing results. Ten simple steps to write. Okay, you get the point, right? This, they're, they're okay. I think if you're a beginning copywriter, you would go, oh, wow, that's super cool because it wrote it by itself. It's, it's appearing like magic. We are easily amused, aren't we? <laughs> the words appear like magic, so it's, it's awesome. No, those are not good. So a couple of reasons why. Headlines should never give the game away. It should entice the reader to read the next thing, which is the subheadline or the first sentence of the, uh, the VSL or webinar, or whatever it is, and implant a psychological aspect of hope or concern. Anything more than that makes an uninteresting, boring headline. And all of those were very uninteresting and boring, especially the ones that mentioned my name, okay? They don't care about me. <laughs> no one cares about your product either, right? They care about what the pain they're in and can you solve it? And hardly any of those headlines touched on any of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of those examples, one I used for my copywriting software and products, and then we're gonna turn that into an A plus headline. Here's the example that I'm gonna take. Write compelling sales copy in minutes, John Benson's proven method. Well, that just sucks. I mean, there's, it, it, it's, 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 it's like Kardashian level terrible, okay? It's really awful. And that's what most headlines that come out of chat are, to be honest with you, they're really awful. But here are my changes that made it, well, really good. Ready? Number one is I changed compelling to high converting or cash grabbing or even lucrative in some versions because compelling isn't what somebody wants. You don't wake up in the morning and go, you know what I wish I had? I wish I had a compelling headline. If I had a compelling headline, I'd pass on sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I would. No one says that unless they are in need of psychiatric help, okay? But they might say, you know what I wish I had? Something that made me more money. <laughs> Something that made the high profit it was really good, right? Now, you might not say I want a high profit headline, but we're at least trending in the right direction by adding the high profit stuff to this. Does that make sense? Compelling is simply not a sexy descriptor. Okay, number two, no one wants to write anything. <laughs> I mean, even you, even someone that wants to learn copywriting, that's not what most people want to do, especially in an AI offer. So create was born. Instantly create. Well, you get the picture. So instead of write, ugh, instantly create. Wow, it sounds like it's done for me. Sometimes I'll put an S on the end of that verb. Instantly creates. 
Now it really sounds like it's done for me, doesn't it? And it does do just that if you do it right. Okay, number three, getting even more out on the ledge. And I like to do this with headlines. I like to be bold. So this is more like me. And this is closer to what the final came to. Poof, high converting sales copy out of thin air, like some kind of money genie. Wow, that's like really bold. You can't say it's boring. You can't say it isn't unique. You can't say it's like, it's not compelling. Everyone would like to do that, like poof this out of thin air like it was a money genie. We all want a money genie, right? So what I did is that trick I told you about finally, and this is the final one, and I added a couple more words to it, and here's what finally came out, ready? Near magically poofs high converting sales copy out of thin air like some kind of money genie. Okay, am I saying that you should write a headline that crazy, that bold? No, but this is far more potent and it worked, it worked really well. You can see money genie, can't you? You know, poofing something out of thin air. The, the word poof is never used in the English vocabulary. It hasn't been used probably in decades. I, I think I'm the first person to use that word in 75 years. Somebody should put me in jail for that. But this poofs, I put the S on it, remember the pluralizing the verb, and it sounds like, wow, it really is like a genie. It's like a magic thing that happens, right? Now, that's really cool. Now, this is where you'd mention AI specifically if you wanted to sell like a ChatGPT course and maybe hint at the author. And this is going to happen in the sub headline because the sub headline can bring things a little bit in. Do I bring things in? I'll let you decide. Probably not. Here we go. See how this billion dollar copywriter in AI Rebel successfully hacked ChatGPT, getting it to mirror sales pages, making millions with nothing more than copy paste, and why he's revealing his secrets to a few lucky marketers and copywriters wanting to make more money in a fraction of the time. <sighs> Let me just take a deep breath here. I got my cardio in for the day. All right, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot. Now, I'm going to be using a variation of this headline and subheadline formula in upcoming ads and landers, and I probably won't use all of that. I wanted to just let off all the shackles and show you what's possible if you just get creative and you think through a couple things like juicy verbs, modifiers, something that people actually want, <laughs> those kind of things, right? So here's the formula for that. I made a formula for you to use, and you can try it on your own. Ready? See how this mini credentials successfully juicy verb topic, super benefit, and why he or she's revealing these secrets to a few lucky avatars wanting to primary goal in time. Okay, that's a long formula, but if you fill out that formula with your own offer, see what it comes, see what it comes out like, and then run that back through chat GPT if you want to and say, hey, can you write 10 versions of this that's more simple? And chat is better at simplifying than it is at writing from scratch. Try that and see what happens. But I want you to notice the differences here. The headline isn't about AI. It certainly isn't about me, which is what chat was doing before. Heaven forbid, it's about the actual product itself. It didn't reveal the name of the copy collective. AI is something that people do want. And of course, we all know that for a fact. And you can use AI to write you know, clever headlines, and I do. But no one wants me, well, my wife, but I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Not like that. Not like that. Get your mind out of the gutter, man. Kick you off the channel. Unless they're already like a fan or certainly no one wants a product because you know, they haven't even been introduced to it yet. That's why you don't want to use that kind of copy in a headline. It's just reeks of direct response bullshit. And you do not want to sound like that guy. Okay. Now let's look at the elements of the rewritten headline. Near magically. That works very well as a play on the word genie. Okay. Because genie, magic. See how that works? Kind of cool. Now, but magic is usually very problematic in copy. It wouldn't pass compliance if you were using it just alone. And everybody wants magic, but it's a bad thing to say usually. But here, near magically, because it's like a copy genie, well, that actually works. That actually sounds good. But notice the taming modifier. What is a taming modifier? A modifier is something that appears before a verb that you want to tame down a little bit. Okay, let's look at that if it just said magically works. Magically, well, near magically sounds much more believable. It doesn't sound nearly as desperate or cheesy. Now, other examples might be like using virtually every blank instead of every blank. In other words, works for virtually every marketer sounds much more believable than works for every marketer. These little word choices can end up jacking your conversion rates through the roof. Now remember, your most important goal as a copywriter when making a claim is to make a desirable yet believable claim. Anyone can make a bold claim, anyone. 
but it takes skill to craft that bold claim into something that's bold and believable. And these taming modifiers can help you do that just with a simple word. Okay, the use of the verb poos we kind of already talked about. It's interesting. It's an odd word. I, I think I should be in prison for using it, but I put the S on the end of it, so now it's even better. Poos. Out of thin air, okay? That's so much more alluring saying than saying like using AI. Poos it using AI would be kind of dumb. You wouldn't want to say that. But poos it out of thin air, it's like, wow, that's virtually, right? Virtually, almost. <laughs> okay, in my case, the thin air is chat GPT. And then finally, the money genie. That's something you can't unsee. You know what a genie does, you know what a genie looks like, you know, it, you know, if you're thinking of Aladdin, he's blue, right? And, but you add the word money to it, and oh boy, you kind of want that genie, right? Makes it even more targeted and more appealing. So there's a lot more work to be done if we want chat to really create A-list level, fun, exciting, bold, pull them in and get them to swipe their credit card headlines. This is the closest thing I've seen for actual direct response style sales page headlines. It's what I have in the chat series of courses I have. Look below, check out chat headlines. Yes, chat headlines. Because it uses what's called few shot training to get some really killer results. We train it in the moment so it knows how to write. This is my little chat GPT hack. And once you do that, you can get some really awesome headlines out of it. Even better, you copy paste and use about six to 10 words that you fill in. That's it. So you can pick up chat headlines if you want it below. It's super cheap and you can get it as an add-on when you pick up chat bullets. You want them both. Trust me, you need them. Okay, check out my other videos below and check out chat bullets below because that will get you chat headlines. And until next time, I'm here to make you unignorable.